Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Here we are going to see about congestion management in the deregulated power system by rescheduling generator using modified differential evolution algorithm. Congestion The overloading of transformer referred to as congestion. The challenging task of system operator is to modify the congestion and to reduce the congestion cost of the rescheduling topologies. Due to this, the delivery of the power transactions to the buyers and sellers are difficult and also increased cost of the electricity and it is threaten threatens to the security and stability. To maintain the market efficiency, congestion to be relieved in fast efficient manner. By this way, generator rescheduling using genetic algorithm based approach proposed in this paper. Using this, identification of minimum cost of rescheduling is preferred. The selected bus system for this proposed topology is IEEE 30 bus system. Disadvantages It isn't able to handle the non differentiable, non linear multimodal functions, and also it doesn't suitable for distributed parallel implementation and also inconsistent convergence. So, for that purpose, we are going to propose modified differential evolution algorithm to solve the problem of congestion by rescheduling of the generators on the basis of sensitivity factor of the power system. So, the non-differentiable non-linear multimodal functions are carried out and also it is suitable for the distributed parallel implementation network. The consistent convergence is achieved. System architecture. It consists of five, four major blocks. IEEE 30 per system load flow analysis using Newton Raption method, the differential evolution algorithm application, congestion management evolution. First module IEEE 30 bus system. It consists of six generators, 24 load buses, 41 transmission lines. The congestion made by outaging of transmission line and increasing the load at certain buses. This using these two process congestions made. Second process load flow analysis. Newton Raphson method applied to the load flow analysis technique. Newton Raphson method is the mathematical technique for solving nonlinear algebraic equations. The real and reactive power flow of a load line calculated using this Newton Raphson method. Next, differential evolution algorithm application. Initially, the differential evolution is invented by Ken Price. It is a simple and powerful computation tool for evolutionary optimization algorithms. How this workflow has been carried out? Read the data that is number of buses, slack buses, voltage buses and voltage angle tolerance value. These are all read out. Then formation of Y bus carried out. Then the set iteration count as R is equal to 0. Calculation of instantaneous power and the change of power and reactive power change of reactive power they are all carried out in this analysis computation of Jacobian elements and bus data line data generator informations are declared in this module the determination of excess power flow in the line and bus voltages are obtained number of generators rescheduling power calculated here there are three process one is fixing the mutation factor by varying the crossover factor we can estimate the power flow and congestion cost rescheduling is estimated second process fixing the crossover factor varying the mutation factor congestion cost is estimated finally const crossover factor and mutation factor both are fixed by varying the number of population we can estimate the congestion cost of the rescheduling process.
Next we discuss about the running procedure of our proposed system. Our proposed system consists of one main function, 12 sub functions. Main function which comprises the IEEE bus initialization and number of bus data, number of slack buses, voltage and voltage angle tolerance value initialization. So there are initialization parameters are declared in the main function and bus data. Our proposed system uses IEEE 30 bus system. So the data for IEEE 30 bus system obtained here and call the general generator data. So this sub function calls the generator data values to the calculations. Then load flow analysis using Newton Raption method is performed by using this function load flow dot m. So this load flow analysis displays the voltage, real power, reactive power, generation of real power, injection of the reactive power and how much it is to be incremented to provide the congestion they are all displayed here and also line flow losses can be calculated using this line data function before going to do load flow and line flow the Y bus admittance bus generation has to be performed using this sub function after performing the calculation of load flow and line flow analysis we apply the differential evolution algorithm to the proposed system for that purpose these sub functions are used call objective cost function cost function analysis discrete recombination these are all corresponds to differential evolution algorithm in differential evolution algorithm four number of parameters are used mutation factor crossover factor number of populations and generations mute there are three cases depending upon the fixing of crossover factor and mutation factor if mutation factor is fixed to a specified value then by varying the crossover factor we can estimate the cost of rescheduling in one case and also by fixing crossover factor to a specified value varying the mutation factor estimation of cost of rescheduling has to be performed for number of populations finally both mutation factor and crossover factor are fixed number of population has to be varied we get the estimation of cost of rescheduling again so these are all three cases has to be evaluated and convergence of differential evolution also plotted now i run the main program of our proposed system The results displayed in displayed window of MATLAB environment here. Here the new Newton Raption load flow analysis displays the readings for voltage per unit, angle, injection of reactive power, generation of the real power. <coughs> These are all the values for line flow and losses. Finally for by applying the differential evolution algorithm the best rescheduled power calculated for six number of generator buses here that are all displayed here in figure one the cost of rescheduling for number of generations has to be evaluated and they are plotted initially it it is in the position of about two thousand dollars after certain number of generations up to 60 generation it goes on peak to peak value when the number of generations increased the cost of rescheduling is decreased to a specified value after rescheduling of the power the second figure shows the convergence of differential evolution for number of generations the fitness function is calculated for the number of generation of 2000 here thank you